Hi guys, welcome to the first episode of Podduck with Podcast. So this is a project organized by the Rotaract Club of Sick. This is a club service project and in this project we plan to hold, hold podcast episodes where we get corresponding people from different projects to speak about their projects. So you are joining us today from the Good Market premises at Columbus 7. I am your host Pasid Gunavardhana and this is my co-host. Hi, I am Sidney Gunavardhana. So today for the first episode we have two members from the club revenue and they are here with us. Hi, I am Abhirami Thanabal Sundra, the club service director of Rotra Club of Sleep. Hi, I am Situn Gamanage, I am the club service director of Rotra Club of Sleep. So guys, uh, tell us a bit about yourselves. So what have you been up to recently? Uh, I just completed my uh, second year in Sleep and uh, I am doing psychology and uh, I am also doing an internship in Ragama. I am also a Bharatanatyam dancer. And about myself, uh, I'm currently a third year accounting science student and I also have finished my final examinations in sleep and I'm currently looking for an internship so that's about myself. Well, he's looking for an internship so you know what to do. Well, uh, let's move on to the questions. So you recently conducted a project called Rotowers. So that, uh, have you chairman any uh, projects before then? Well, in our club I haven't in project so um, so this is your first time chairman yeah as a chairman so what was your first time as chairman like well it was quite a uh, experience of a roller coaster right uh, I would say uh, but I enjoyed it a lot and also gained a lot from it would you do it again yeah definitely right so hold him on to that promise and let's move on so tell us about rot hours because uh, uh, <coughs> mainly idea uh, came from uh, treasurer Ishini who was the club service director last year right. uh, so she initiated that after that uh, Nimsaraya and both of us joined for that and we did the planning together then there onwards it was the uh, best uh, orientation I think we have done in uh, our club So Abhirami, who came up with Rotava's name? Actually the Rotava's name was uh, created by Sito so yeah, the whole history behind how we came up with it. Why don't you tell us? Yeah, sure. So, Rotavers is a combination of two words. It's a Rotaract plus a universe. So, combining those two words, we came up with the Rotavers. It uh, we got the idea from that from the uh, Spider-Man. Uh, you know the Spider-Man. Yeah. yeah. So, that's where we got the uh, Rotavers idea, and that's how we came up with that uh, theme. Right, interesting stuff, interesting stuff. Yeah. So let's move on to the next question. So, um, who came up with the idea for this project? So, who brainstormed this project actually? So, um, I mean, like you explained that Ishini brought the idea for the project. How did you proceed from that point on? Would you like to ask? Yeah, so uh, I wouldn't say that it's this one particular person and another particular person. It's uh, a whole group work here. So, uh, we hadn't formed a committee by then. So we had to ask help from the board members and also especially our president, the secretary and everyone worked for this. So I would say uh, we all brainstormed together and there were like sleepless nights and even in the morning we used to work for this. So I would say it's everyone's effort. So how was this project initiated? So when did this project uh, get off the minds and into the books? How did it start physically? I would say uh, when we were appointed as the newly board members, uh, Nimsura Aya, the president of the club, uh, reached out to us and that's how we planned uh, for this project. So Ishini Aki used to help us in the start and then we used to brainstorm together and uh, work as a group up. Uh, so about Rattavas, what were the obstacles you came across? Yeah. So, the, mainly initially we had a plan for the uh, as a registration for uh, about 100 people. Mm -hmm. But uh, after the first registration, uh, it was uh, like overloaded with many registrants, and we had to go for a second registration as well. And uh, in total, we got almost uh, over uh, 300 plus uh, registrants, and that was a kind of a quite a issue we faced because we planned for 100 people and it was uh, twice the time so we had to change our plans a bit 
uh, other than that, uh, we got the support from the board, so we had no uh, not, lot of uh, big issues there. Yeah. So yeah, that was the small issue we had. So the main obstacle you faced was kind of oxymoronic. You were suffering from your success. Yeah, I remember. Because you did not plan uh, like it was more successful than you had intended. Yeah. So that's actually good. So, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, I was, I was reminding of like, um, when we got the form, I was so excited to fill in, to know about the towers and rock track. It was new for me also, so that you guys achieved. So what were your main intentions other than recruiting people? So were there any other side intentions for this? Or uh, if so, how did you achieve this? So uh, apart from just recruiting new members to the club, we also wanted very efficient members and uh, in the beginning itself, we wanted members to know about Rotterdam and how it is to chair a project. So uh, the whole Rotterdam project was designed in a way where we uh, build a fellowship and where we also plan projects and it was a complete uh, roller coaster ride as you can say about Rotterdam. So you would say the objectives of this project were to get to know each other, create a bond, create a well-oiled machine, to say. So yeah, um, so do you like to continue? Um, how did uh, Rotavas impact you guys, the team, the organizing team of Rotavas? Well, it was the first main project we did as a board. Uh, so therefore we got the support from all the board members and that was the first point of uh, impact we got uh, with the, all the our board members. So it was a great experience to get to know each other, well, our board people and also our team leaders as well. Uh, I think uh, that's uh, one big thing we got from this uh, project. Yeah, so um, let's move on to a sort of fun territory here. So uh, were you two the only chairpersons of this project? Or were there any others involved? Mm, well, uh, we, were, we both were the chairpeople for this project, but uh, we also had the IT director, uh, Johan Fernando, uh, in very much involved in this project. And at the same time, uh, we also had the president, the secretary. So as I said before, uh, it was a Whole team work. Joined Shout out to Jihan Fernando, behind, man behind camera. Right now. Right now. So uh, you had to work with a lot of people. Who would you say was the bossiest out of them? I would say Sabirav. <laughs> straight as straight to the point. So Abhirav. I agree with that. So Abhirav, what would you say? Who was the bossiest out of this? I would say it's me because <laughs> he doesn't talk much. So I had to do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there are rumors that we are the bossiest. Bossiest of They're not bossiest. Well, uh, those I people who are making those rumors have clearly not met Situmi. Uh, uh, so, yeah, okay. she, she has control issues. And uh, so, yeah, well, I've heard from our uh, IT director, Mr. Johan Fernando, that you had some fun while organizing a project. Late night. And at late night, you at came up night. with a song. So, yes. we would like to hear the song from you. Why don't you share yeah. with us? Well, we can share the lyrics with you. <laughs> you have to sing it. You yeah, know, you have we, to perform we, it. We do expect a performance. Yes, please. Yes. Well, I'm okay with it, but then. No, no. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah, he's okay. perfect. Fine. Yeah, he's perfect. Fine. He's perfect. Don't have to worry about it. So I think the entire thing is yes. like four lines is enough. Um, entire thing. Entire thing. Okay. You don't mind. It will yeah. be interesting for the so, audience. Uh, you, so. okay. That's the worst song you'll ever hear. <laughs> <laughs> Morning. Morning, guys. Should we start? Now? Yes. yes. Okay. Can I keep it here? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. no, I have it. Okay. With it? Okay. I can't see him singing in bed now. Let's see what we Start. Wait, I'm getting the pitch. <laughs> 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 
A few moments later. move on to the games um so we have back so on this plate in front of me we have six chocolate buns so four of them are not safe and two of them are safe so you choose you pick your own poison right yes so um i'm going to offer one of these you have to pick one of these Take it ahead. Pick one of this. <laughs> right. So we'll be asking you a question. You have time to eat it and ponder your answer about the question. And after you finish eating it, you can answer the question. So our question right now is: What are the three worst qualities of Ninja Raya? <laughs> Right. Yeah. Like, Proceed. Uh, eat it and not answer it. Oh, I'm afraid you have to eat it and answer it. Okay. Eat it. Oh, oh, go on. You're go lucky, on, go on. I think. You're lucky, I think. You didn't get it. No, you did. You did not. Yes, he chose the lucky uh, bun out of two. <laughs> <laughs> She did I not. <laughs> Are you trying? <laughs> well, well, we have the first tears of the day. <laughs> um, How was it, Abhiram? Right. So, both. She's in the middle of laughing and crying. <laughs> she can't. Do you How did it taste? Uh, actually, the buns were uh, inside the buns. There are marmite and chili pineapple mixed oh together. <laughs> yeah. So. And um, chocolate overcoated. Right. So yes. Um, yes. I need a plate. Okay. You pick one. Oh God. Okay. Yeah, you can answer a qu- ask the question from us. So this. Actually, we can give him a chance to ask. 
The first one is the president calls her madam. That's actually not a verse call. That's not a verse call. It's not so bad. But yeah, I'm intrigued to hear the second one. Okay, so good. No, no, if I pass, it's something else. It's something else. No, I pass. Tell something bad about you? Yeah, I can't. <laughs> Same. Just go with it, guys. Go with it, just go with it. So just the content. Go. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he won't hold any grudges. Go. Yeah, yeah, he won't. <laughs> you and I want to win. Will you, Nimsa Raya? Yeah. Will you hold grudges against these two people? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, go on. Go on. Yeah. Uh, the first uh, bad quality of. It's not actually a bad quality, but if we plan a meeting, suppose say it's 8:30 to 9:30, I'm pretty sure it's going to be uh, over at 12:30 in the morning. <laughs> so that's one thing I would say. <laughs> <laughs> well, it seems like the president is impersonating people against their will. Don't take that out of context. Go ahead. And uh, another bad quality. Apart from that, he's like an amazing person. I don't want him to like. Shout out to the amazing Rajasthan. president. <laughs> Name Saraya. Yeah. That's all. That's all. So all she could come up with was one, one bad thing. One bad thing. Okay, we'll give you a chance. You can say one bad thing, and we'll let you. Uh, actually, even I have the same thing in my mind, but uh, <laughs> other than that. This means that Nimsaraya is a good person. Yeah. Shout out Nimsaraya. So um, now uh, both of us has one bun in hand, and we'll eat it. Probably this is a lucky <laughs> bun. It's not. And uh, you can ask any questions you want from us. Yes. As a human shield. That's the thing I have to say. The feeling is natural. Yes. Yes. Okay, so that brings an end to the first episode of Podduck with Podcast. 
we are here at Thalam uh, 7 at Good Market Princess. So, hope to catch you next time. Bye. Bye. Do my best,